So these last two years have really put us to the test. A pandemic, an insurrection, police shootings, protests, elections, and the list goes on and on. So staying motivated under these circumstances requires a realistic self-care checklist that really will help us aspire higher. And that is the name of the latest book written by our next guest, the founder of Positive Life Choice Psychology, Ken Lindner. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Hazel. It's a pleasure to be with you on PIX11. Yeah, great to see you. So this book, it really comes at, at the perfect time. I mean, a lot of people are looking to put all of these challenging times behind us. This book is kind of like a blueprint on how to do just that. So what inspired you to write it? Well, you know, we're all subjected, as you said, to so much negativity these days. You know, we feel down. We feel emotionally stuck. We don't see a way up or a way out. So I truly believe we can all use a powerful and positive emotional, psychological jumpstart to our lives. So I wrote Aspire Hire to give everyone the clear and actionable steps to make positive life choices that reflect their highest self, their highest values, and their highest goals. And by making these empowering life choices, you instill feelings of high self-esteem, high self-worth, self-love in your heart and you're motivated to live your very best and highest life yeah so you... succinctly put hazel you know when you're down aspire higher yeah well mental illness uh, anxiety it's really skyrocketed uh, during the pandemic a lot of people lost their jobs they can't afford therapy but you came up with like you said several helpful methods that are actually free to us uh, free for us to use so how do you know that they work well, first of all, I've been counseling people for almost 40 years to make positive life choices that jumpstart their lives and help them to fulfill their greatest potential. So I have tried all of these steps out for years and they work. Okay, can you, can you kind of walk us through them? There are seven steps that you highlight in the book. So let's start with some of the baby steps that'll kind of set us up for success. Can you walk us through them? Of course, Hazel. So the first thing is, is to truly value the opportunities to make great life choices. You know, your life is a reflection of the choices that you make. So acknowledge the power of your life choices. The second thing is, how can you make great life choices if you don't identify your highest goals? Mm -hmm. What do you want in your life? Take the time to figure out what will make your heart sing. Be consequence cognizant. Think about the consequences of your acts. It's so important and don't make decisions when you are enveloped in toxic emotions because when we're angry and sad and feel hurt and resentful, we oftentimes go for the quick fix and don't make a cognitively clear highest value decision. So once you've laid these foundation some of the things you say is consistency is key, acknowledgement, and be a solutionary. What is a solutionary? You know, Hazel, I love this concept. Being a solutionary means that not only do you make constructive decisions for yourself that benefit you, but you also make decisions and choices that elevate others, that benefit others, that positively impact others. And it's such a win-win situation because you feel great about the decision you made for yourself. You uplift others. And by uplifting others, you continue to raise self-esteem and feelings of self-worth and a high self-image in your heart. Yeah. So what would you say then is the bottom line of this book? Well, the bottom line is if you can make positive life choices that um, raise self-love in your heart and you love the track that your life is on, you're going to elevate your life. You're going to be motivated to elevate others. And as a result, you elevate our country. It's what I call the Aspire Higher Triple Bonus. And so is, I'm assuming that this is the way that you live your life. Well, you know, I love being a bright light in other people's lives, Hazel. And I love seeing what can be in others. And that's why I do what I do. And that's why I've written Aspire Higher, to help people self-actualize and truly fulfill their potentials and 
live their very best and highest lives. All right, Kenny, thanks so much for being with us here on the Pix 11 Morning News and for giving us these tools that we need to, as you say, aspire higher. Well, thanks so much, Hazel. It's a pleasure and a privilege. All thanks. Right. Thank you. And the book is available wherever books are sold.